Hello, welcome to my review of Zack Snyder Army of the Dead. Just finish it. This is going to be a spoilers review. Okay, so if you haven't seen it, you can stop right here. But I like the movie. I give it a 7 out of 10. Okay, it has a lot of plot holes, but it's one of those movies where I would say turn off your brain and logic and enjoy the action. Um, best part of the movie, Dave Batista for sure. Did a wonderful job and in many ways i wish they did not kill him off at the end because it would be nice to see him in the sequel because the way the movie ended they want to have a sequel uh, and i think netflix will greenlit a sequel given i think this movie will get a good review and reception from subscribers a lot of plot holes, a lot of questions. I'm sure after I make this video, I will go on YouTube and watch other smarter YouTubers explaining things to me. But no doubt this is, as I was watching this movie, there's a huge homage to the movie Aliens. It's not by accident. I'm sure there's intention to that because, you know, as, as I was watching movie, the slimy character Martin remind me a lot of Paul Reiser in the movie Aliens, they both had similar demise. Um, and then you have the scene with uh, the chopper, you know, in the movie Aliens, Ripley got to the scene, get to the landing area at the end, but the ship was not there. Same thing here, they got to the roof, the chopper was not there, but then the chopper show up. There's a lot of question I have. First up, the zombies are so smart wouldn't they figure out how to get over the wall by putting a ladder or create or build a ladder right so that's kind of kooky right how they tr they stay in the city and what do they eat since everyone in the city is already a zombie they gotta eat something right um second that woman a character that know about the smart zombie and how they can think how does she know that why would she has any incentive to go inside the city to get what so for me that whole part where she knew ahead that yeah, you gotta make a sacrifice in order to gain entry into the city how regardless okay my biggest complaint about the movie is it took a little bit too long to get to the zombie part. The introduction, fantastic. I love the opening on how the alpha zombie got out. Love it. But then it's like another 40 minutes of team building and introduction, which I don't really need. Okay, Some of those characters, I don't really need to know more about their background. But that's what we had, 40 minutes or something like that of the intro and team building and team meeting and planning, all that stuff. So the movie is over two hours. I think it's like two hours and, and a half. So I wish we didn't have to wait so long to get to the zombie. But once the action started, it is a whole lot of fun. Of course, the ending, that was another one that make you got to turn up your brain, how that one character survived. Okay, because obviously he was bitten and he walked across the desert. <laughs> um, so somehow he got the slow acting zombie bite, right? For him to survive and not turn in hours, if not days, um, for the sequel. So that was kind of eye rolling for me, but I get it. Okay, like I said, turn up your brain. Enjoy the action, enjoy De Batista, and I look forward for the sequel. I hope there will be a sequel. And that's my quick and short review for Army of the Dead. Bye bye.